Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. How are you, Miss Evita, Miss Mary Lourdes? How are you? I hope that everybody is now in. Um, we will start in a few minutes. So at this time, I would like to inform everyone that they need to be ready with their um, answer sheet and answer key. Now, before we will start, may I request everyone to be in this more in their more comfortable um, sitting arrangement. Let's start with a short prayer. Uh, for a while, let's try, let's try to integrate the prayer in a few minutes. So I would like to remind everyone that the, your answer sheet is will be ready and we will be able to check that one in a few minutes. Just wait for a while. I'm going to integrate our prayer because today is Sunday. We need to be with the Lord. Okay. So my request everyone to please bow down their heads and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. If you know this song, you can sing with the song. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're fine today. So yesterday we have discussed um, the educational technology concept from the traditional down to ICT integration. <clears throat> now this morning, 
We will continue and we will be checking your activity sheet. I hope that everybody has um, accomplished your work. No? This is still Dr. Helen Bihag Boholano of Cebu Normal University. So in suction aids and devices, what are the different kinds of instruction materials? By the way, we'll be checking after my short discussion, we'll be checking with your output. So in terms of printed, we have talked this one yesterday, that these are textbook, supplementary materials. Now this time, the teachers in the Department of Education, not only in depth ed, but also teachers in the private school, like in your schools, they are preparing worksheets. They're preparing your module in order for your friends to continue their, in their quest for knowledge. So workbooks, duplicated outlines, teacher prepared study guide, in depth at the usually lesson guide, session guide, you term that. Reference books, pamphlets, and I think you have tried this one. Magazine articles, newspaper. So these are supplementary materials in order for us to learn. <clears throat> so there are different kinds of audio aids. Radio. Now, if you remember the news the other day that DepEd will adapt some radio program. Phonograph, tape recorders. So before teachers will bring cassette tape with them so that they will be able to play some reflection songs for their students to learn in the classroom. So this is common visual aids. The common visual aids in the classroom, of course, are chalkboards. These chalkboards are very important for the teacher because without the chalkboard, the teacher cannot elaborate further his or her discussion. <clears throat> Still pictures, most of us wanted to have selfie pictures. Your pictures can be used as instruction material. This can be non-projected, the photographs and the illustrations. Projected usually in anirani, you can non-projected without electricity, without using electricity, but projected they use electricity. Like your picture will be transformed into slides and put it in your PowerPoint, that's already projected. So I've mentioned that projected pictures, so converting it into slides, film strip, or optic projection, or overhead projections. So we have also graphic materials that includes chart, graphs, map, and globes, as well as posters. Posters are very important. Like most of you have tried or experienced purchasing soft, um, posters, charts, in educational supplies. Why? Because you wanted your student to learn when they read that material. Exhibit. Exhibit is expensive, but this is an activity wherein your student will learn because they'll be able to see and they'll be able to experience displaying something related to the theme or to the topic given by the teacher. So school may display Balkan boards and of course museum. So you wanted to go to Bohol Museum. I think I don't know if there was there was one. There will be one, <clears throat> but in Cebu there's there are museums. Or you wanted to go to the National Museum in Manila. No, in the past time, of course, it's not good. But you will be able to see some artifacts wherein the student will be able to relate, especially with their lessons, with their classes, especially in social studies and other learning areas. Planner board and field board. No? These are simple. It allows hands-on interaction. Why? This can be flipped. No? So we're in, some, some teachers will utilize them and there is, a, the, instead of cork board, they, will, they are using the flannel and field board. Objects, specimen, like for example, if your lesson is about flower, goma mela is a complete flower. And therefore, you no need for you to bring the photograph of the goma mela, nor the, the, the video, but try to bring the real goma mela flower. Then you'll be able to, to let these students identify the different parts. Now take note, realia is the best visual aid, like you, 
as a teacher, you're the best visual aid because even if you have a very beautiful visual aid and you do not know how to relate it to your students, that's still very irrelevant. But since Realia is the best visual aid, if Realia is not fitted, not suited for the learning objectives, then do not do that. For example, if your lesson is about reptiles, don't tell me you will bring snake in the classroom. That's very impossible. Daghang mamatay if you will be doing that one. And therefore, realia is applicable when it is available and when it is feasible. Feasible meaning the students will be safe and secure. <clears throat> Now, audiovisual aids includes motion pictures, television, and videotapes. <clears throat> now, TV is very important. Now, this time, I think, when I visited BIT Talibon, <clears throat> Talibon, I forgot if, what specific, um, what specific um, campus. Some are not anymore using the overhead projector nor the LCD projector. Why? They are already using some motion or some TV inside the classroom. All you need to have is your HDMI cord and your laptop ready for projection. Now, if you don't have the HDMI, you can screen share. <clears throat> Demonstration, I mentioned this yesterday. Then community resources, field trip, for example, and inviting resource persons. I also mentioned this yesterday. Laboratory. Now, lab work are important if it's needed. Now, take note, in science, you cannot have any laboratory or experiment if it's not good for the learners. For example, um, bringing some live animals require us to have permit at BNR. Not all, no, if you bring cockroach, no, of course. But other animals, you cannot kill them. You cannot easily kill them without permits. Now, it happens in one school where students are doing it, and then uh, there was a query of by the DNR. Then program instruction with the use of textbook and computer machine, then self-teaching, with the aid of textbook and teaching machine that presents material structured in a logical sequence. Why is it that most of us always need the book? Why? It's because there's already the, the idea, there's already the, the discussions, an important thing. All you have to do if you don't understand and you feel there's a need for you to add more, it's time for you to research. So some of us always prefer printed. <clears throat> So what are some basic guidelines in the use of audiovisual aids? Audiovisual aids cannot teach by themselves. You know, it's very important. But how are we going to differentiate the book and the module? If you have noticed, teachers nowadays are preparing the module. These are self-instructional learning. Why? Students will learn without the teacher because it's module, it's self-learning. Book is different. Book is more detailed and it's not uh, self-instructional learning because some teachers are utilizing the book as a reference. So uh, it's very important that we select the material based on appropriateness, effectiveness, regency, availability, for example, <clears throat> you like to use this specific material, but it's not available in your place. What will you do? It's very possible for you that you will not teach because the material is not available. Then the appeal. See to it also like you when you face your student, you have to look good. Why? Because that's the appeal is part. No? So delicate way appeal appeal, no? Technical quality and the cost. Do not use instruction materials that's very expensive because it might cost you a lot. And there might be, of course, a problem along the way that you might encounter. And of course, it's very important that you will try it before you have to introduce it with your students. Now, teaching aids, I love this, no? Quotations. <clears throat> the thing 
which I hear, I may forget. The thing which I see, I may remember. The thing which I do, I cannot forget. Meaning, I always remember if I have experienced it. The superb teaching aids to every school, like our school and your school and all other schools, is essential for the improvement of quality of teaching. It should indeed bring about an educational revolution in the country. So if, have you seen the movie, The Freedom Writers, where, wherein teacher Erin is that? So this is the one in the film and this is the real. I'll be flashing a very short video. It's not on Erin Gruel, but it's in related on the teacher that can make a difference. So please take a look of this video and after that, we'll have to relate things that are happening in our classroom.
Okay, so what have you realized upon hearing or, and uh, watching the video? I think you have realized your great role as a teacher, not only presenting with the different instruction materials, but it's very important that we'll be able to the life of our learners, especially those learners this time. So, the psychology of using teaching aids. If we look into the video, the teacher's mere, no, mere understanding of the students have made a difference in the life of the student. So the teacher, Miss Thompson, has touched the, the life of his her student. So what's the psychology of using teaching aids? On top of being you who is very good and who is ready and willing to be with the student, be with the learners all the time, we need to know why should we use instruction materials. So we learn when we learn zero through taste. So for example, you go to Jollibee and buy the food there, then you try to taste you will be able to feel that it's very delicious, but you are not learning. Why? Because you did not cook that food, the chicken at Jollibee. But when you be able to touch, oh, it's hot. Therefore, you have learned nga init gay o bagong luto. 5% when you smell. Without tasting, you smell the food and it's, it smells good. Therefore, you have learned. 11% to hearing chicka bibs. When, uh, when you have some chicka chicka with friends, then you will be able to learn 11%. 83% when you see, that's why teachers should have a visual aid because the learner will learn 83% of it. So it's just the same in the Chinese proverb. 20% when we hear, 30% of what we see, 50% of what we see and hear, and 80% of what we say. But therefore, if you will do this, if you will say this and do this, you will learn 90%. So what the objectives in knowing our instruction materials to make teaching effective, to make learning interesting and profitable, to quicken the pace of learning, Take note that without the instruction materials, learning is very slow. But with instruction materials, it will make fast. Why? Students will learn. <clears throat> to foster the development of knowledge and to optimize teachers' efforts to overcome possible hurdles during the up of teaching, to add variety and newness of the lesson, simplify the complex phenomena. If it's very difficult, then you will show 
the students the very simple presentations, then they will understand. To make teaching interactive and to develop inclusiveness among the learner to learn further. So these are the different principles in preparing the visual aids. Principle of preparation, you need to have more time to prepare, but it does not mean that you will eat all your free time. Then you need to have the selection process. Then to, to you, you need to have the proper presentation, the principle of response, and the principle of physical control. So what are the different characteristics? Visible and according to local needs. So for example, I'm a teacher here in Cebu. I should have a visual aid wherein it is contextualized and localized. And therefore the student will learn it because they have observed and seen it. <clears throat> then up to date, do not use visual aid. Portable and easy to bring, easy to repair and easy to put up. Why? If you have a very heavy visual aid, it will take time to install your material. Improvised, motivating this very important, interesting, capturing, simple, cheap, and easily available, meaningful and purposeful. There must be a purpose of doing it, of using it. Accurate, truthful, and real. So here is the difference among the following. And what are examples? When we speak of projected visuals, for example, film, ang equivalent niya in non-projected could be cartoons. And then the activity aids could be CCTV. Field trip, it could be chart or computer assisted instruction type. Colored slides could be diagram and it could be dramatic in the activity. Now that's the activity. Colored film cassette could be flashcards if it's non-projected. But the activity that you will do in the classroom could be a demo. Slide projector could be graphs or the activity could be experiment and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so this is now that, no? If you will use chalkboard, the chalk, the colored chalk, the white chalk, that is non-projected. And going here is working in a moment. So here is also some um, important things that we need to remember. So this one, I already presented the Edgar Dale kind of experience, but let us um, <clears throat> equate it with some activities, some material that are needed. For example, film strip could be black and white, which is better if it's elementary, of course, maybe colored, no? Overhead projectors and so on. So only about a decade ago, a history of technology and education since 1920 placed in an emphasis of radio and television with computers as an afterthought. So can you imagine that one? And according to Settler in 1990, the historical functions of educational technology is a process rather than a product. Any useful definition of educational technology, therefore, must pass on the process of applying tools for educational purposes and the material used. Based on the combination of process and product merges in such a procedures with instructional tools. So technology and education as mass media or mass media and audio, sorry, it's not mass media. Education, our uh, technology and education as media and audiovisual communications. So audiovisual movement is the way of delivering information that could be used as alternatives to lecture and book. Audiovisual communication is a branch of odd educational theory and practice concerned primarily with the design and the use of messages which control the learning process. Now, this is the association of education, communication, technology. 
I was teacher, you know what, when you browse in the internet, there's so many material available. Some materials are free, other materials are for, of course, there are also payment. But if you go to free, there are so many. <clears throat> So the edu uh, technology and education and instructional system. In 1960s and 1970s, so it started already long time ago, human and non-human resources, meaning it is important that a teacher should also use material in order for her also or for him nga masayun ra para niya ang pag-deliver sa lesson. Systematic approach to designing and developing as well as delivering instruction match carefully on the identified needs of the learners. Different learners, different needs. The in in International Society of Performance Intru Improvement actually, we have also like the NIC for teacher, National IC Competencies for Teachers was taken from ST in international level. We have also some society in, the, in, in in the world wherein it helps teachers in order for the teachers to be more um, knowledgeable perhaps or whatever in the teaching and learning process. Validating and creating instruction. <clears throat> and technology and education as vocational, as vocational training tools. So Technology and education is school learning prepares students for the world of work. As elementary or high school teacher, preparing your students for the real world of work. Even if they're elementary, they have to know the reality that they have to learn because they need to perform after. Now, when I was a high school teacher, one of my students asked, Mom, why is it that mathematics is very difficult? Well, I will not study college, nor I don't like to be an engineer. But why should I learn and pass algebra? I, if I work at MEPS, you know, MEPS Summit, Sumi in Cebu, Danao, or in Lapu-Lapu, algebra is not useful for them, according to my students. But I try to convince my students that there is no X and Y there. But the process on how we learn in the subject can be applied on the, on the real world of work. Vocational training can be part practical means of teaching. That's according to International Technology Education Association. Now, technology and education as computers and computer-based system. This time, computers are very expensive. Why? Students are buying computer because they wanted to learn and they wanted to avail it because of the online classes of different schools. The problem, less na ang available ng computer. Why? Law of supply and demand in social studies. Many people wanted o taas ang demand, gamay ang supply, mumahal. So, luwi po ang mga pobre, no? <clears throat> So this computer begins to be used in the classroom in 1960s until 1990, until now, which is known educational computing. By the mid of 1990s, educational computing became educational technology. So there are, there are uh, initiatives made and there are improvements. This is because of the International Society for Technology and Education. What's their views? The views as, the non-computer media versus computer devices. What's the differences and similarities? Technology as media and audiovisual communications. Technology as instructional system. Technology as peer based system. And technology as vocational training tools. Therefore, Pomonila is technology. Technology can be used as media and communication. Technology can be used during as vocational training, technology can be used in the classroom in a computer-based system. And technology can be used by the teacher in their instruction in the classroom. The instructional delivery. Computers as media are becoming more complex and more capable. Computer systems are subsuming other forms of media. 
the perceived complexity of computer-based system has made it more difficult for educators to effectively integrate software and computer media into classrooms. So what are the current applications of educational technology systems? <clears throat> These are in terms of instruction technology applications. Sorry for my PowerPoint, there is some problem. Instructional software, interactive video-based materials, courses through distance learning. Now, before blended learning is not very familiar to us. When we offer, because uh, in, in Trended we conducted a review, when we offer training for teachers hiring, which is 10 points in DepEd, Manny is asking, how will you go the training? I told them, since it's 10 days, it's blended. So the, most of them do not understand what is blended learning. No, and blended learning is there is face-to-face, -face, there is online. During the start of the training, day one is face-to-face -face for the orientation, for discussions, and then the succeeding days will be chat and live discussions like this. The sec then the last day is the presentation, which is face-to-face. -face. Before, they don't understand it. But now, many of them are texting and sending message to me that, Mom, I now understand what is blended learning. Because of this pandemic, I was able to realize that blended learning is essential. No? So, kung di makitabuan, di makasabot. No? That's the problem of the Filipinos. We are closed-minded. So we should be a you know, person who are... Who are Open-minded and these persons who are willing to learn, relearn, and unlearn. Then productivity tools. Now, in terms of productivity, with the use of technology, teachers will be more productive. Why? You need to research more on the things that are happening now and what are the new techniques that are needed in order for you to deliver instruction appropriately. So we need to prepare print instruction materials. You need to prepare to keep records and analyze the data. These are very essential. This is the, the education for 2020, 2021 is a very rich, it has a lot of data that can be used for research, for future uh, policy development and future use of educators like you and me. Prepare and make instructional and informative presentations organize time and materials. <clears throat> so as a student, what are the uses of instructional materials for you as tools for students? In terms of writing your assignment before, you need to write a lot. No, sometimes when you compose something, uh, you need a, a Miriam's dictionary, Webster's dictionary in order for you to have a beautiful words to be used. But this time, no need. As a click on Google, then you will be able to see the things and even samples of writings. Helping with the research, assisting the learning tasks in various content areas and developing products and presentations. Okay, if there are more, no questions, if you have some questions, feel free to um, have it in our chat box. I'm willing to answer that one. If not, if you're ready this time, then you can get your your activity sheets and I'm looking on this. So uh, please get your activity sheet for you to check your own paper. So I think we can check our own paper. So I hope that you have already the activity sheets with you. I will stop sharing this one and I will share the activity, meaning the assignment that I've given to you. Okay. Here is our <clears throat> assignment. Okay. So it has already the answer there, but I need to read and discuss it with you. So I hope that you're ready. And I hope that after checking, you can chat your scores. Feel free, don't be shy, because this is learning and relearning. OK. 
Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Arvita, for the thumbs up. So let's start. Okay. In Camarian Elementary School has two computer laboratories, but some teachers are reluctant for the use no, of this computer for instruction. What could be the primary reasons for such reluctance? Is it pupils are technophobic? B, teachers have no personal computer. C, teachers are not equipped with computer skills. Or D, T, school would have a lot of funds for electricity. If you look at letter D is not closest to the answer. For letter D is not a plausible. So it is an ineffective distractor. In the afternoon, we'll be discussing assessment of learning and I hope you'll be ready. Now, along the way, side by side, I'll be discussing the data. So the right answer is letter C. Because the teacher do not have the ability to use the computer, that's why they don't like to use it. And what process should be used to recall a document saved previously? Is it copy, save, open, or enter? The right answer is open. So it's very easy. Three, where should you save your computer files? Is it in the desk and in the folder, in the drawer, in the bin, or in the filing cabinet? So if you look at the, the uh, options, these are not really. No, options meaning, I will read in the chat. I, I'm sorry, Miss Avita. Ah, okay. So I'm sorry if you have different, I'm sorry, sorry for that. I will look for it in a few minutes. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I will continue with this. Then later on, I'll show the answer of the assignment. Is it, I, I think this is the assignment. This is not the assignment, Ms. Abit. I'm sorry for that. Thank you, Ms. Abit, for the reminders. But I think we, um, please give me, uh, please encode the first questions, Miss Avita, in the chat box. Question one, please, in the chat box. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, and I'm, I, I, I thought it's this. No, but let's continue with this first. I think I have given this as an um to Mamleya for you for your um activity but don't worry it's i will also give the answer for the previous activity that i have given number four who developed the machine that could add subtract multiply or divide calculate square roots so the right answer is letter c i'm waiting for the question one miss avita anyway we'll continue and then after that i'll give you the answer for the assignment that I've given. Um, I'll, it's very difficult for me to navigate from the presentations, okay? Sorry if I miss it. Uh, I'll go back to my presentation. I find it difficult. Okay, now here I am. <clears throat> so like the typewriter, the computer has, I'm sorry, number five. Which refers to single phase, phrase or word that tells the computer what to do, web project or file? This is command. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Ms. Avita. I'll be looking on that in a few minutes. So I hope that you are okay there. So you please You're welcome, ma'am. Yeah, okay, thank you. Please continue reading while I am flashing that one. While then I'll be looking on this and um activity. Okay. Okay, so sorry for that. Okay, I will be looking on that in a few minutes because um, 
it will take time to be on that. Okay, so I am now navigating if I will be able to see some files. Mm -hmm. Okay, base and head shape. Okay, and I, I have search. I'm sorry, I now look at it and I was, uh, okay, I think it's here. Sorry, I, I, I will now be sharing. Okay, I'll now be sharing the activity sheets that I've given to you. I'm sorry, sometimes you know age matters. Okay. <clears throat> So I think this is the questions, correct, Ms. Avita? Is this the one? Okay, I'm sorry. So let us start. Based on Piaget's theory, what should a teacher provide for children in concrete operational stage? Is it activities for hypothesis formulation? Is it games and other physical activities to develop motor skills or learning activities that involve problems of classification and ordering or stimulating environment with ample objects to play with? So the best answer in concrete. Now, I think yesterday I have given you the, the, the equivalent of Edgar Dale kind of experience from concrete down to the, <clears throat> and Brunner also. So we have letter C. The right answer is learn activities that involve problems of classification. Which of the following statement is correct? Now take note of correct based on domains of educational technology. Domain, is it design in is the production stage? So if you look at the production stage, designing is not there. Both design and development are planning. No, the first stage is you plan. And look at, I, I discussed the different model, the ADI model yesterday, the Azure model. So first is you should analyze the learners. Then evaluation is synonymous with implementation. No, after implementation, you need to evaluate. So the right answer is utilization is the action phase or utilization is the implementation phase, okay? Teacher Maricel was hired in a well-equipped school, but she has to start preparing her instruction materials before classes begin. Which of the following is a systematic process in preparing her materials? Is it design, utilization? So if you look at the letter A, last ang development, di pwede, dapat last ang evaluation. So if you look at letter B, last ang evaluation. So as I'm saying, maguna is it the development or the design? Maguna yung design. No design, no ni mo, i develop ni mo, gamito ni mo then evaluate. That's why it's letter C. The ICT competency standards for teachers include all of the following except one. Is it digital and non digital technology, ethical issues in the use of ICT? or enhance financial literacy skills or use technology, except man siya. So wala labot ang financial, no? Dapat about the ICT ethics, for example, in Facebook, you wanted to post something. If you if you are nude, ya kwa o na suba na, hubo ka diha, ika masuko. Nga naman, imo mang gipost sa public. Meaning, pwede sila makakita. Pero kung... <clears throat> Naghubo ka, gipicturan ka sa si imong amiga niya, gipost ka na siya, di na siya maayo. Because 
the, the ethics now, you sh they should ask permission. Ay, miga, picture nanti ka nga maghubo. Kinsa man po din tayo yung musugot. Yung may straho, no? Wa, di musugot. So, financial is not included. That's number four. Letter C. A universal standard in the use of ICT in teaching and learning in the classroom requires teacher to blank except one. So, use of gadget, pwede. Karon gadget naman yun ron. <clears throat> use, uh, stand, understand the issues and safety, pwede. Utilize, pwede. Pero dili, kamo yun nga mamugus ka, nga mupalit ka o expensive computer. So, that's why it's letter T. Okay. Number six, which of the following encompasses all these concepts? Is it technology, internet, computer, or gadget? So all these concepts are on, is about technology. So when you have gamut of computer technology, when you have gamut of um, overhead projector technology, because overhead projector is man-made. And with the use of, that is the, the, the development of technology. Nagamit ka lapis, technology yapon because ang lapis, dili dinuhat nga nikalit lang ka lapis, no? But it is pan made with the use of technology. Which statement about technology in teaching and learning is false? False ang gingon. Technology is modernized, correct. Karun lang modernized sa yung kayo, tanawara ko, di ako sa sibu, kamo na sa bukol, nag-istudia ta. I think not. Most of you are not in, in, in Taliban. Maybe na I have na, na I. Na ay asa so meaning but you communicate with each other you chat with each other so meaning it could be so pwede na siya modernized use of technology to promote hats correct 21st century is somewhat pasakto pero millennial teachers are not ready no bisan pa katung mga maestra nga dugay na sa servisyo 60 years old if they're willing to learn relearn and unlearn then it is possible I have a good teacher is 65 years old Karun di wala na siya katudlo, retired na. He tax good siya because I'm, I am expecting that he will be with us. Ngayon siya, sorry ma'am, di naman di ko katudlo kay 65 naman ko. So, anong ko ako hala, 65 na di ka sir. Siya lagi. Kay retired man siya, nag-part-time. So, meaning niya, very still wanted to learn. No? Appeal gila po webinar siya. So, ngayon man ipag-tuto ko. Even though it, it, it's like that, then the teacher is willing to learn. So, sayo na sa millennial, mo nang false, letter B. How did technology offer new fields of education research? <clears throat> is it A? Ang A, one ra, enable researchers to process pwede, faster and accurate. Can you imagine yourselves doing your research using typewriter? Ika mo ma, 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 matiguang o tinayip, masayip ang page one, ya, usara ka sentensus, you know ko. But, with the use of technology, it's fast and accurate. Create research tools with rigor to collect data. Pwede na, karun, makakollect na kong data. Like, if I want to interview you, I can interview you individually even for one minute. Diba? Sa yun lang. So, kana good because I wanted also to hear from you. No, kana Example lang na. Pero pwede pong tinood on your kadili raman, nga naman, using Chat lang, usa ka question, doon ka question, kaya baro ko ma-chat ra yun na. Yeah. Malipay po mo kung na yung mga utana ninyo. Like for example, how do you find a review using Zoom and FB Live? No, mayroon ang uban. Nakuan po me, kaya like I have a, a friend, I have an advice who is teaching in Eastern Visayas State University, Leti. Nagatakloban siya. Nag-oral defense me online. Siya siya kaputol. What happened to siya, ma'am? First time pa na akong gamit sa Zoom. No? So meaning to say, there are no ako karon when I was instructed to have uh, because I already have an account in the university and then I need to log in another account to have the live. It's a learning experience for me. No, kabang kada na imukwani mo. It's a learning experience. Provide different ways of collecting information for evaluation. So meaning, kaning tanan new open new fields in educational research. So that's letter D. Technologies introduce. Reinforce, supplement, extend skills is violated in one of the teaching practices. Asa man ko nini violate? The globe, or by the globe, or represents our drill card used to master, of course. Diba mag drill din ka? One times one, two times two. Okay. 
Rock words are used. Yeah, outside. Okay. So, uh, chapter one, chapter two. Okay, that's good. But pictures is replaced by TV cannot be. So that's letter B. Sayon ano? <clears throat> Which part of information processing cycle is considered brain of the computer? So even without reading the rest of the options, you know, ni kita niyo CPU daug na. So that's letter a central processing unit. A type design for an entire set of character is called, is it text, layout, font, or keyboard? The right answer, answer is font, letter A. Design man siya. So pwede siya i-bold, no, i-red. Muna siya sa kung answer, red na dito. So, <clears throat> how can learners benefit most, of the most in the use of technology? Is it one only, enhanced global? With the use of technology, you'll be karun bito, pwede man mo mubasa. How did education done in the US? How did education done in Australia with this pandemic? Liraman kita, no? Then, <clears throat> enable, pwede na. Enable students to participate in the online gaming. In a classy beta, lang sa kayo mag-contest na direct mobile legends. So, pwede. Increase a Addiction in internet games. With the use of technology, we should limit and should inform the students the positive and the negative. What are the advantages of using technology? How about its advantages and disadvantages? The advantages and limitations, the pros and cons. So the right answer is letter A. In which area of learning has technology given the most influence? Is it distance learning, on job? Learning face to face or blended. Most influence ang <clears throat> distance learning. Ano man. Um, some schools are already adapting distance learning. Dugay na wala pang pandemic ang distance na sila. No need of going to school. They are at home learning and earning the degree. Which of the following technologies provide iconic? Oh, Brunner ni iconic, inactive, iconic, symbolic stage. This is iconic in active real, yeah. Iconic, oh, mo na picture. So that's letter A. Mrs. Pakanya prepared manipulative models and worksheets in teaching math. Well, for students, so nasa manipulative, nasa worksheet. Para mga bata ko nung malab sa subject, unsa man ang giprepare ni ma'am, nga naman to yung giprepare, unsa man. Is it balance, appropriateness? Mung kang appropriateness, pwede siya. Correct. Pero nga nung nag-prepare sa mga worksheets niya, models na yun, so may lain man, ano man, variety. Kaya parang lita ng imong instruction material o ng imong activity ka ron, plus lang, for example, for isang answer sa worksheets, student will find board. So mo nang board in the house, board in the house. no <clears throat> So, they will find the activity boarding and they don't like to do it. Nga naman, oy, isang na pod. So, varied. Make variety. Mr. Lu took photographs in different animals in the zoo as his instruction materials in his class. Which is the best thing to do to allow the whole class to see? So na siya picture niya. Kung gusto siya ang tanan makakita, ya ipapapit ito. So makapatid ang color. Ang color mo, mo black na. How the, have the pupils passed? Okay, pass it, pass it, pass it. Pinumot ang picture. Or mount, compile it sa board. The best thing is, transform it into slides. Ibutang diha sa slide, upakita, ugamit yung projector, then everybody will be able to see. After Mrs. Ang planned her lesson in science, she found out that the materials at hand do not match her objectives. Which is the best step she should do? Is it modify the available materials? Is it ugman na lang tamang klase? Or change o ilisan the objectives para mamatch? Or carry out the lesson keber mo class, no? But what will you do? Do not modify the learning objectives, but instead modify your instructional materials. Letter A. In what way can instructional aids foster learning? This is reinforce learning. <clears throat> That's letter A. Which of these factors one considered when evaluating computer system? If you want to purchase the amount of internal memory, I talked this one, I have mentioned this one yesterday. You need to have like, if you have a cell phone, you have memory storage. 
<clears throat> processor, the type and speed. So, dapat paspas. Kini ko, pintayin mong laptop o tab ka, malibang sa ka, inigbalik mo, pag yun able. No? And this type and size of display, ang gidakon ba ron? So, therefore, it's all of this. Letter D. In graphic organizer, we have also discussed this yesterday. It's used to show how a series of events interact to produce a set of results again and again. This is what we call cycle. And in section eight, it's require pupils to verbalize. This is verbalize. Kung imong tanawon, wala man o graphic video verbalize man. So is it could be? I'm sorry, this is not graphic. It is what? Nga mo verbalize siya, mo tingog siya. This is video. No? Mo tingog sila. <clears throat> Verbalized. Which of the following is inappropriate using printed? Inappropriate. Dili ang ay. No? If you have noticed, asa ko nang inappropriate. Is it provide written or verbal cues? Allow student to pass materials from one person to another. Pwede ang verbal clues, pero inappropriate ang ipasa-pasa. If the student, 24, is an auditory, o oh, asa ko ang not, not, to radio, okay, auditory, audio tape auditory, phonograph auditory, katubang phonograph ba sa karaan, film strip is, dili lang siya auditory, it is both, um, visual and auditory, siya ang nalahi, no? <clears throat> Mr. Renanti would like to provide hands-on experience on the expansion and contraction of matter. Which of the following materials would be used? So, expansion of matter, ang pinakabuan kong model, masinutod ang pinuod. So, realia is the best visual aid. Miss Luxine finds the chalkboards an effective in such a material up to the present. However, just like any other material, it should it is it also has its limitations. Unsa may limitations sa chalkboard? Speed, di na limitation mis hindi ko ano na kay kusog kay kamusuat. Emphasize major point o sa atong iswat ang katrag yung major point so di pwede dili siya limitations. Use in displaying pictures pwede ra, but absent student cannot keep up. Correct. Kaya ang ang, di ni mo eriso na imong iswat sa board. So that's letter C. Which, with which learning style group are manipulative most effective? Learning style, mastery, interpersonal, self-expressive, understanding. The right answer is understanding style group. Which term applies on the search of related literature? It came out in the license short exam several times. So this is online search. What is the main purpose of an external storage device? Nga nung naamang kay hard disk, nga nung naamang kay flash drive. It is because you wanted to save the program or the, the, the files until the data will be needed. So that's letter D. Do. All of the following factors contribute the growth of computer use except cost, Ma'am, ni mahal ron, ni mahal, pero take note. Alit tag sa cellphone na ron, ubat ang tag 15 minutes. Nak, patulisi na lang na. Ang 15 minutes na. no? So meaning, if you look at it, dili siya cost. So but, speed, di, porque kung mahal siya, pas-pas mo po. So ang exception is more difficult programs to learn. Ngayon ka nga, di man ko kama, oh, I don't like to hear teachers. So ngayon di ko kama, oh, what? All of us can learn. No teachers left behind. It's just like student. No? 21st century teachers are adaptable to change. We are those teachers who wanted to learn, relearn, and learn. Why? Because 21st century teachers has already the skills of four Cs, has already the different skills needed in the 21st century. So, dili kami yung more difficult programs to learn. So, boy. Which the following is not part of the information processing cycle? So, gahapon, nagisgota output, input process, pwede storage, pero walay database. Database is an application. Pwede lang DBMS, database management system. <clears throat> During experiment, in science classroom represents, according to John Dewey, 
learning by doing. Di na siya dramatize, kaya nag-experiment man ka. You learn by doing. To quote the last one, Mr. Tamad gave Juan computer-aided instructional program for him to move at it, her, his own pace. What instructional software do one get? It is tutorial. Now, parera good na, um, your administrator, Ms. Beliti, sent me the tutorial on how to have um, Zoom to live, no? To FB live. That's very amazing, no? That there are so many things that we learn before we are not using Zoom, no? Another also, you try to use Meet in Google Classroom. It's clearer than, I might say, it's clearer than Zoom, no? But of course, na mangi mga limitations, no? Ang tanan, no? Wala mangi perfect, no? I have also tried Teams. Microsoft Teams is also, makabalik do ka anytime, no? Unlike to Zoom, nga. Ang kira ron, pulo ramanta. Na nakadiri kay nag-FB Live ang uban. Pero masood mong tanan, maladji, mapalyar na to, no? I have tried it in DepEd when I have 100 participants. Four batches, 100, 100, 400 yun tanan sila. Mapal, maputol yun tanan. So, maunang mo yung yun ko, please turn off your video and your microphone. So, kung an, ako lang, yun, wala galing ko yung picture. Nga naman, magkakuan yun siya. So, it depends on how. But because of this, like Zoom, there are free. No, na po, katong mahal, mabaya dyan ka. So, meaning to say, but classes which is 40 minutes can be done with free account. No, wadag kan yun ka yung nindot na ron with the technology learning by doing no and you will learn it so that how much tutorial di ka makayon di ko ka maumubuhat why there are tutorials available if you want printed if you want video which just a multiple choice to study marine plants and animals the teacher should choose one of the following technology driven activity so in mutan aon mo study kag marine plants di ka mo yung mutan ako picture but you go there and look at no, that's why it is failed trip. That with what software can assist teach in giving repetitive exercises? Repeat, balik balik. So kung atong kwan mo yung gitang sa una sa buong pag elementary teacher utilize drill. Therefore, it's clear to see drill in practice software. A teacher should be the best representation of teaching technology. I mentioned this several times that nobody can replace us. Therefore, how would a teacher represent him or herself? Therefore, the teacher should master a new skills in the use of technology. Do not discuss with the student if you do not know what you're doing. Slides are miniature transparencies. They can be created with simple cameras, simple equipment. That is a color in a realistic manner. How they also have some limitations, however. Which one is the limitation? The limitation of using transparency is they can get out sequence if handled individually. No example. Kung sa may limitation, kung dili ni mo ng bira ni mong overhead, di ba kapto man ng acetate mo ibutang butang? Masayup po niya kagbutang ang continuation mawahi. No ang ang una mawahi, ang awahi mauna. No something like that. It protects from your circuit calling, and that is ang uban siguro na fun. No, the right answer is the case, CPU case, the computer case protect the cooling, not the fun, because the fun is inside the case. The following are major components of information processing exam. So, maginangan yung tao sa computer or hardware. Wag yun yung answer ni Kyo B. Mayin kang ang CPU that is hardware. Ang peopleware is the tao nga mo gamit. So therefore, CPU is not part where CPU is part of the hardware, the brain of the computer. <clears throat> A unit of information equivalent to the results of choice between two possible alternatives in a binary number is called bit. This is a knowledge questions or remembering according to Anderson and Bloom and Cratwell. According to Bloom, it's knowledge. According to Kratwall and Anderson, Anderson is a student of Bloom, it's remembering. Bit, there is C. It is a plastic coated disk that stores digital data, and that is CD-ROM. 42. 
After listening to the advantages and disadvantages of computers, Mr. Rennan decided to purchase. Karun, asa ang bili? Tayo sa mag na, last considerations. What's the last? Computer make more efficient? Okay, hindi siya last. Enhanced, hindi siya last. Interactive, siya last. Entertainment is the last. No? Okay, teaching and learning. Let's see. What is done? What is to be done when students are asked to connect related concepts and ideas from the word concept? Oh, na na siya keyword concepts. So sa pagtake sa board, tanawin yun mo mga words, keywords in order to get the correct answer. Concept map. Na naman ang concept. Which of the follow? Which of the teaching methods can be used with computer? <clears throat> with computer, with individualized instruction. Na naman, ma'am. Diba, with a computer, ikaw ramay usan. I think you have tried answering some activity in computer that you click, mga taglapod siyang answer, so it's like that. Which of the following is known as the strength of giving feedback? And that is computer-assisted instruction letter D. <clears throat> Which of the following computer-based instruction material can be used to learn new concepts? Bago. So, dili sa emulation kundi tutorial, pareha na sa kaning inyo karon. <clears throat> Professor Natividad would like to create presentation material for his lesson in on the types of computer assisted instruction. Which should, which of the following tools should he use? It is productivity tool. Mrs. Sirana uses online learning approach by which content provides links of information at other locations. Is it computer-aided instruction, web-based instruction, self-based program, or teleconferencing? Correct answer is B, web-based instruction. Which of the following statement does not, take note, does not describe educational technology? Is it includes hardware and software? Does not, ha? So, dili siya A, 1. Is it refers to efficiency of the teachers using computer? Pwede. So, it could be <clears throat> that one, the two. Both development, dili. So, the right answer is letter C. With the use of ICT in the classroom, a demand for teachers developed in the 21st century skills is clearer than before. Which of these skills should teacher use sparingly? Kung saan lang sparingly? Panagsa na lang. Kung saan may itong gamitin panagsa? Use additional teaching methods like lecture. 51. Which teacher always complain on scarcity of instruction materials in remote schools as creative and innovative teacher? Which of the following should you do? Is it? Use lecture, use the lecture method at all time, buy materials from the store, borrow materials from your fellow teacher, or use local materials available. Take note, contextualization and localization. Therefore, it's letter D, local. Among the following criterion, which should be priority, prioritized when choosing a teaching device? Sa to, novelty, cost, attractiveness, or appropriateness. It must be suited to the learning objective. Therefore, it is appropriate. Letter D. The following are the varied ways why ICT tools can be integrated in teaching and learning. Is it A, allows effective collaboration? B, provides a specific tool? C, facilitates easy processing of information? Or D, permits easy accessibility and sharing of resources? X letter D. Um, I hope you are doing fine there. Or gaduka na mo diha ayos sa shudi duka ha shudi. Which situation justifies blended learning? So I mentioned this already. Unsam nang blended? So kung may kang employ synchronous or synchronous, it could be. But take note, blended. Na ay at na ay actual na ay na ay online. So or na ay modular. So letter A is the best answer. It is a combination of online lessons and actual lesson in physical setting. Which statement applies correctly with Edgar Dale kind of experience? So, simulation. So, the closer you are to the base, the more concrete experience you will have. 
And therefore, that's letter A. More concrete, more direct experience you will have. <clears throat> Which is a good example of tapping the learner's ingenuity in knowledge integration. They will be made to create digital story with a certain topic and present it in the class. Why? That is performance-based, meaning when the student will make their own, we can assure that students are learning. So, karun di ba? Pabuhato na tong infographics, Canva. Bright kay sila, mas bright pa na nato. Now, the, the following are major purposes of assessment, except why is there a need to assess? Is it evaluate? Ang evaluate dili sa exception. Corrective feedback, mabitan mo yung kang sayup na. So, mga hawa diha ha, kamihilus ka. So, that's corrective feedback. Diagnose learner's prior knowledge. Assess native intelligence. Ayaw, in town ng native intelligence. So, that's Larry G. <clears throat> Teacher Larry utilizes online assessment to, make, to measure student learning a specific topic online. What do you call that? That is specific topic. Ang, ang iyang keyword specific. Therefore, formative. Which of the following is not correct? Not, ha? Huh? 21st century learner, learners are technology savvy. Amo, amo, yung mga estudyante, correct. Bisan five years old ka ron, may nakay mo open o YouTube. The use of e-portfolio is always beneficial. This is not all the time correct. Why? Portfolio is good. That is student, uh, showing student best output, collection of student best output, but Electronic portfolio sometimes is not all beneficial. Why? If the student do not have internet connection, what will happen to the learner? So therefore, you find problem. She might be able to fail or she will not, she cannot accomplish your task given, the task given to her. So mo nakaroon ang way internet modular, no? Ikasagans ng studenti on and off ang internet. O sa'y kusog, pirmihinay, no? So that's why uh, electronic portfolio is not always beneficial. <clears throat> Which is true about portfolio assessment? Is it the best answer in portfolio is authentic or wala ganang authentic ngitang alternative. We should pronounce the words authentic very well or else many people will get angry. No joke na na. No lang, mas nindo jul ang face-to-face kay makakita kung mukatawa mo and then I can throw jokes. No, it's here, it's difficult. But it's okay. Why? We see each other online. Teacher F assigned her student to create video presentation about current problems in school. As a student, what will you do first? The right answer is ask permission. No, it is very important to ask permission. For example, na nag-away yung ibediwhan. Actually, pwede raman na siya kung there is a need. Nga ibalita yun siya. You know, na ina disgrasya. Pero lang magdaot pa sa ilang reputasyon is not good, especially if you post. Kanang magpicture kang na yung nagpapilimos na naluoy ka nga, please help, okay ka na siya. Pero kanang imong gikritisize ang tao, that is not okay. Now, you should ask permission. So, maugi na, pwede ka o picture kung makalipay o makaayo sa mga isig kaingon. Kanya, imo na i-post without permission. Pero makadaot sa mga isig kaingon, Take note, there is what we call ethics. No? <clears throat> Even in conducting research, we should ask permission to our student that you are doing the research. <clears throat> now, computer assisted test gives immediate corrected feedback and it's most useful when immediate and frequent. So, panangilitan, <clears throat> ang nakalahi sa computer assisted, automatic matagupidong, sorry, the right answer is this, because this and so and so. So, di ba? Mas, masaya? <clears throat> Teacher Martha might choose to use more professional testing methods over authentic or performance assessment because authentic assessments are considerable technical knowledge Authentic assessments are needs, teachers' productivity. Authentic assessments are more difficult to administer. Me, the right answer is all of this. Do you agree that authentic assessment is more difficult? True. Parang litan, karon. It's more difficult to administer. Kaya mga, ito, palutu ka. Dangerous niya. 
di sa na mahimo nga tag tag saon mo sa paluto dugay ka kamahuman no so that's very difficult to administer but still that's very important that you should know the performance of each learner Erwina keep samples of all the writings by scanning it and put it in the folder on a regular basis students and their teacher review work sila on the folders for the purpose of assessing the improvement of our time <clears throat> then teacher will uploaded it in her blog what they call this this are portfolio <clears throat> teacher Therese, chris i'm sorry wants her students to clear and clearly understand it what it takes to get good grade in such a study project she just assigned she explains that to get an outstanding rating the project must include at least four pictures have at least six pages, so na siya criteria, and list of eight references. So, unsa man siya? Is it a grading criteria? No, that is scoring rubric. What is the content of a portfolio? Now, in the electronic portfolio, it's just the same with the uh, printed portfolio. If you could still remember your <clears throat> practice teaching, you have your portfolio during your practice teaching. Soon sa may sood, adto, you should know the goal and the purpose of the portfolio. It's very important that you should know why are you preparing this? You wanted to document how well are you to your practice teaching from the very beginning? Are you coming to school very early or very late? The, the, the way you teach, you know, even your physical appearance in the classroom map. Ms. Susan would like to show result museum to students, but due to financial constraints, she couldn't bring them there. What should she do to make teaching and learning process more realistic? Conduct a virtual tour. Kana kung dili ka katuk Palawan, di ka katuk Amerika ron, sa imong buhato, di ka katuk Japan, what will you do? Go to Google. O na adihay, daghan, makakita Google Earth on sa panadin. That you're able to determine. <clears throat> Which of the following should you avoid if you ask to evaluate effectiveness of an instructional game? After using the teaching lesson to high school science. Now, on Saman, allow learners to select different content materials. Now, you might say, Mom, if the student will select different content, now you, you have to see to it, karung panahuna, a flexible assessment. Flexibility of assessment. For example, in my module that I'll be giving to my college student, what's the content? Na ay mga assessment na sila tayo mo answer na na yung negotiated activity. In the negotiated activity, I wanted my students to work something. Kung naka-internet mo rin buhaton. Kung waka-internet mo rin buhaton. No? Yeah, they have to choose. Kay uso na ron ang flexibility, flexible assessment in teacher education, flexible assessment in elementary and high school or in basic education. <clears throat> That's why it's Larry C. Happy Jane is looking for an organized instructional program. Its teacher and learners can be physically separated. So my young are physically separated. Therefore, this stands education. Which of the following statements is correct about the domains of educational technology? So binalik mo siya ganina sa katong first ang gipakita. It's the utilization is in the action phase. Based on Edgar Dale, which activity is farthest to the real thing? Layo. So... Viewing images is layo compare sa attending exhibit, watching a demo, and using video, video or uh, video disc. <clears throat> if teacher believes the adage of hear and I forget Chinese proverbs, see and I remember, do and I understand the best teaching technology she will do will be experiential learning. Kinsa ta tumar remember kung experiential learning? Called, no? Called experiential learning theory. What is the message of Edgar Dale kind of experience in conveying the teachers and the learners? The base, the more, the closer you are to the base, the more direct experience you will have. The farther, the more indirect experience you will have. So that's letter A, which is a graphic presentation of numerical data. So sa na kayo na, ang mga math major, bright kayo, histogram. Which must be primarily considered in the choice of instruction material or aid? It is, it must be suited or appropriate to the learning or lesson objectives. That letter C. 
Is it advisable to use Realia at all time? I mentioned this a while ago that Realia is the best visual aid, but you cannot use Realia at all times. Why? If you use Realia at all times, the difficulty arise when Realia is not suited. So what is important? It must be suited and fitted to the learners or the lesson objectives. And therefore, when it is feasible, is it not feasible? Safe and secure. Kung magamit kag bitin o niya, ang imong an imong lesson sus just color no ayaw <clears throat> which of the following is a limitation of models and real objects in teaching and learning so ang problema kung magamit kag uh, model and limitations daghan na kay ka magfile na asan mo ibutang whereas if you use technology you can find it in your hard disk so the problems on storage Mr. Cordova, an ICT teacher, takes into account technology standards to address the needs of students and help them adapt to changing society and technology. Which of the following standards is an exception? So model, digital age, work, and learning. So it matter and, and digital age. <clears throat> Lara B, what is the appropriate for large group instruction? So kung large group, dili tutorial, dili pod pictorial, dili pod brainstorming, but symposium or lecture. Pahintan kita, nagkita pa, tadili ko mag-grouping ninyo kuan. I should have a lecture. <clears throat> the instructions that will tell the computer what to do and how to do it is software. Diba? Computer will not run without the software. Selecting a file, loading it into the memory and displaying it on the computer screen is a process known as retrieving. <clears throat> Education technology device like film and about the unit show us birds I view will motivate the learners and get them to work showing film or picture at the beginning of the lesson is part of beginning man siya motivation phase or in initiatory activity introductory activity that's letter A 84 Miss Carlos is an elementary grade teacher in rural community not reached by electricity, kaloy po ni ma'am. But she was, she has some tapes that can be useful to teach the topics on weather. <clears throat> what practical? Unso may gamito ni ma'am, lang saka mag-transparency. Wala may electricity, picture na lang. That's letter A. Which of the following belongs to non-projected media? Kung giingon, non-projected, wala electricity. So the best answer is realia. <clears throat> Man, field trip, wala. True. But remember, field trip is difficult because you need to have the uh, um, physical, no? Physical, um, um, what they call that? Physical na pag appeal, no? In the, to make teaching and learning productive. Which is a planning tool that helps the reader analyze the story so that, so ang kona po nato in the keyword story therefore story map it is or if a reader is vocalizing his thoughts to be able to understand the text what metacognitive strategies using metacognitive thinking about thinking metacognition so as a man think aloud strategy which method illustrates this statement that which can be thought of can be spoken what can be spoken can be written than read. This is oral graphic symbolic language. In writing outcomes and objectives of Algenan's lesson, which of the following should teacher always consider? The right answer is learning process to be used. So the learning process is very important. What learning process will the teacher will be using? Black is a design approach we're both face to face and online. So, parin balik kami, lain lang pagkatabi. Online learning are made better at, by the presence of each other. So, dili siya distance, kag dapat physical mang yun. Dili siya online nga, dili siya e learning, but the right answer is blended learning. It's a mixture of online and face to face learning. So, I hope that you can chat your scores. Don't be shy, no, because. <clears throat> In teaching and learning, it is important that you will learn and you will also get the right thing for you. No, it is not on how or it is not that we need to criticize another 
because your score is lower than what is expected. 90, 75%, 90 is, kung naapakudiha, manghatag yung kung kanang token sa mga dagong scores niya, kahit man tamang kita, nila akong ihatag ninyo. And congratulations. So, pass 67. I hope that you can chat. If you are shy, well, maybe privately chat me so that you, I will know I'm willing to help you along the way. Okay? So, if there are no questions today, let's end our discussion with the test. Um, we will be back at 1.30. For assessment of learning, I'll be posting the test after I uh, leave our meeting. So I will leave this one, and after that, I will be with you. Uh, very good, Ms. Avita. No, but anyway, so I hope no. Ganan kay ko kena gud tawo mo sud si Ms. Avita o si Ms. Maria Lourdes. No mga datu unjud ni the internet is good. No, so I hope that you are doing well there. And we will see each other at 1.30 for assessment of learning. Please browse at 11 o'clock or 11.30 the material that you need to answer in afternoon activity. That less um, more power to one and all. Let's think positive, not on positive. They tama positive sa virus, but let's think think positive. We can do it in the licensure exam this coming 2021. And I think you'll be taking the test by March, right? God bless everyone. Happy eating. <laughs>